What's up guys? My name is Alex McBride and welcome to my channel. This week I am bringing you my 2020 goals and intentions for the year. I broke them down into different categories because um, I really wanted to work on growth in all areas of my life. Um, I was sick all last week, um, otherwise I would have been done last week, but it is what it is. Before we get started, I do want to have one quick note. Um, I have a lot of goals I want to accomplish this year, but I'm not going to discredit myself at the end of the year if I don't meet each one. Uh, I want to have grace with myself and um, focus more on just making progress in each area versus um, necessarily checking off the box at the end of the year, if you know what I mean. So I just want to make that quick note before I jump in. So. Like I said, I broke them down into categories to make sure I'm growing in each area of my life. Um, so the first one I broke it down was to intellectual and knowledge. Um, I really want to work on learning a new language. Uh, last year I had started kind of learning French just because I wanted to, not really a specific reason, but um, I want to continue working on that and, and practicing at the end of the year. I'd really like to be able to either read a book whether it's a children's book or a short story or something. Um, let's be real, it's probably gonna be the children's book, but that's okay. I'm working on progressing in that area um, and being proud of myself that I even got that far. Uh, one of my other goals in that category is I wanna read 20 books. I do have like 16 books I've purchased, but not yet read because I have a problem. So before I buy more books, I'm gonna read all of those. And then the next category I have is spiritual. So I want to grow in my spiritual walk with God, um, and part of that is really dedicating a set amount of time to Him every day, um, whether it's reading my Bible or worshiping or a combination of the both, and then just um, remembering to continuously pray each day because um, in my Christian background, it's about the relationship with Jesus, and um, you can't really have a relationship without communication. And so, uh, really working on my communication and just staying in his presence. My physical goals is I would really like to be able to go to the gym three to four times a week. Um, last week that did not happen because I was sick um, and I was choosing to try to rest. Uh, the gym once, but that was, I did not necessarily feel good the next day, so not very wise. But I'd really like to be able to go three to four times a week. So currently I am doing Whole30. So no, I'm not sponsored by Whole30. I just love Whole30. But as I'm doing Whole30 in this month, um, I'll be making a couple videos and recipes and stuff to switch it up. But I want to try to stick to a Whole Foods type diet after I'm done. Um, I'll incorporate other things back in like uh, legumes because you can't have legumes. And then uh, non-gluten grains. So I'll introduce rice back in or quinoa and those kinds of things. Um, but I really want to try to keep out gluten and processed sugars after I'm done. Um, just because I feel better when I do it. And I'm last time I did Whole30, I wanted to do it afterwards, but didn't. And I was very sad that I didn't. The next category, which is probably like my biggest category I have is financial. I have a lot of financial goals for this year. So one thing that's really been on my heart the last couple of months is to become a better steward, a steward with my friendships, with my time, with my money, um, and just to be more wise in those areas and really make uh, smart choices, specifically in financial, because I am very much a spender personality and so really becoming more disciplined in that area is something I wanna do. So last year, well, I guess two years ago now, in 2018, my car was stolen and uh, stolen from my driveway, super fun. Um, it took forever for the cops to recover it, and when they finally did, there was a whole bunch of parts missing, and it was going to be way too expensive, and the amount of money I would have been spending on this 1990 Honda Accord um, would have been better used to going towards a new car, plus I just didn't have the money at the time. Very thankful for my grandparents, who have been letting me borrow their car um, until I can afford to buy a new car. Um, but my goal is to really buy a car this year, and. Um, that has you know good miles or whatever so if you're selling a car and it has it's in good condition and has good miles let me know the other one i have is by the end of the year i'd really love to pay my student loans off double what is due every month um just because student loans really suck like 
really, really suck. And you really don't have a lot of freedom with your money when you're in debt. So I'm, I really want to work towards paying off all my debt, which is really only student loans and one vet credit card that I had to get because my cat got sick. But that's another story. One of the other ones is I, because student loans and other places my money has had to go, I haven't been the best at tithing. Um, and that is something that I really want to become better about um, and really making that a priority because um, that's one of the principles of my faith that um, I just really need to work on. And then lastly in financial is I want to be consistent with the budget. So I've started budgets in the past and like had spreadsheets and all that fun stuff, but I've never really stuck to it. So this year I've like did a whole new spreadsheet and it's broken down by transactions, actual versus like planned and all the fun stuff. And so really sticking to that and being conscious and intentional about where I'm spending my money. Uh, the next category is just kind of, um, just general. Um, so one is this vlog. I would really like to get to where I do one to two a week. Probably won't happen until the end of the year, but just being consistent with it. Um, another is I want to be more prepared just in life. Um, it's kind of prepared is kind of one of my words for this year. Uh, it kind of goes back to the idea of being a good steward. Um, just really being more prepared, um, being better with my time. Um, like prepping my food for the week so that way I can focus on other things I need to get done and I'm not constantly rushing from one thing to the other or waiting till the last minute to make dinner and then it's nine o'clock and then I don't go to bed till 11 and then I'm tired the next day and then all these things. Um, so I just decided this year I was gonna be prepared um, and really work on being more prepared in my life. Another area that I really wanna work on is being slow to speak and quick to listen as well as listening to understand and not to respond. Um, I don't know about you, but whenever I'm going through something and I go to someone to vent, um, if I'm given solutions right away while I'm still processing what's going on in my life, um, it's not super helpful for me. And so I'm really working on being conscientious of that with others. And so that's kind of all I have in the general category. Um, I do have one more goal that I just forgot to write down um, and it's related to uh, my journey with sustainability and fast fashion um, and to continue to progress in that area. Uh, one thing one of my friends did last year was she um, gave herself a cap on how many traditional type stores she wanted to go and spend things on. Um, so like whether it's you're looking for a certain piece and you just can't seem to find it in places like Crossroads or Goodwill or any of those kind of things. This is not sponsored by the way. She limited herself to 10 places to go in the year and that's something I really want to implement just because um, with fast fashion, my main drive behind supporting it is um, from a human rights perspective and um, knowing where your clothes are coming from and who is making them and the conditions they're working in. I just feel like that's really important to be aware of um, and typically a lot of traditional type stores they um, aren't very transparent with their production methods and so limiting how much I support those stores um, is something that's important to me this year. But with all that to say those are kind of the goals that I have for this year. I do want to add um, one more encouragement to my fellow faith believers out there. Um, today, as I was in my quiet time and I was um, reflecting on these goals that I have for the year, um, it was really on my heart to recognize um, the motivation behind all my goals. Um, and if it's Christ-centered or Alex-centered and um, really remembering to keep my goals in line with what he wants for my life. and. Um, so I just want to encourage you to do the same, um, and if you did it already, awesome. You are way more on top of it than I am, but, um, that's kind of it. But yeah, that's all I have for you today. Um, I will be doing, like I said, some Whole30 related videos, um, including a spaghetti squash cooking video because I love spaghetti squash. Um, but that's all I have for you today. Make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll talk to you real soon.